Bitcoin volatility is back. And for those knowledgeable enough to trade this, there are actually great profits to be had. If you are not knowledgeable yet, well, this is also a very good video for you because I will be telling you the targets, why I remain bearish and how you can take advantage of the upcoming trades. So yeah, this is a video for everybody of all levels. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy. And yeah, let's get straight into what you're here for, right? And that is looking at the charts. Today, I'm gonna to be covering Bitcoin, Ethereum, the stock market and the Forex market. A little bit of all for you. Of course, they're primarily focusing on Bitcoin. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up right where I left off my last YouTube video, which was of course telling you all <laughs> the same right now as I am bearish. I have a higher term time frame bearish bias. I am expecting lower prices to come. Of course, that was off the back of seeing that swing failure pattern right here of our range high, of course. Uh, where you know that was the only one and only trade setup that we had since last end of last week swing for a pattern of the range high is what we were looking for 24 hours later we got a swing failure pattern of the range high so you know make the make the plan trade the plan and then remain patient for that plan to come down and hit take profit so you got to wait for that to come down right it's a simple case of i repeat plan the trade trade the plan, have the patience for that plan to pay you. <laughs> and that is what happens. Uh, we remain patient as price came down and down and down and down and down. Took four days, but we eventually come down to very close to the range low. And, uh, you know, now I want to explain briefly why we saw a front run here on Bybit. There was a very good reason. Uh, one of the biggest reasons which would have been given to you is if you watch uh, the live streams every single day on our website. Uh, Eagle calling for the higher low before the rise, before the drop. <laughs> so uh, yeah, one one factor I'm going to say is, is the word Eagle. This guy, uh, absolutely legendary, gave the call of the higher low, taking out this previous low, coming down slightly below it, spending some time gathering the shorts before the rise to the upside to hit the short target, which was hit on this wick before a move back down, which is what we're getting right now. So first word is is eagle. What a what a call. <laughs> uh, secondary, we had a little bit of movement on uh, Ethereum. There was an Ethereum ETF. This sparked a little bit of volatility coming in with a rise to the upside on ETH, which actually, funnily enough, just uh, let it end in a swing failure pattern. Very similar to uh, Bitcoin, that, that reminded me of, uh, of that being 27K. But yeah, coming up, taking that high, of course, is... is uh, a bearish swing failure pattern and you know later we're looking at that with uh you know the continuation of the downside on ETH so uh also the the other factor we had was the low was taken on the CME so this is an important chart to be aware of right so you did get an SFP on the CME chart as you're coming down into Igor's you know higher low support zone so you're getting a you know several factors here for that drop taking out this minor low Okay, taking out this minor low. Okay, holding the higher low, getting the rise to the upside. What for? Only to fill the short trades to bring it back down below the low. So it's like if you've been following along with uh, the Champions Group, right? Obviously, we had uh, that well, Eagle <laughs> legendary. I mean, that's just incredible cool. But uh, the move down for the long. That completed stage one and now stage two for the short. He <laughs> longed the low and shorted the high. I mean, absolutely G-O-A-T, greatest of all time. Um, yeah, that was incredible. That was better than what I could have done. Like, incredible accuracy. Uh, so, yeah, now we've obviously done stage one of the bounce, stage two of the drop. And, well, we're waiting for that to complete. So, yeah, I've been telling over on Twitter, I've been saying it very publicly, I've been saying it even more, uh, you know, concisely in the group. For me, this is short and chill. Every rise is a short opportunity until I come down for my target. Uh, my target is the low of this channel. Why? Because we don't have just one low here. We don't even just have two lows, which is now a slightly higher low. But we also have this one from here, right? That is one. Two, now three lows. This is a major level of liquidity, such high liquidity that is sat there. And myself as a trader that runs statistics, that trades this day in, day out. You know, I've been going on 13 years trading. This is something, this is my bread and butter. This is this is what I do. This is who I am. I call the market and the market moves, right? My call is we're going to be going down below these pivots. Every single rise until that happens is a short trade. This is just 
it's gonna I just cannot see a world where we're not taking out a triple bottom now this is just liquidity that's asking to be taken it really is of course below that we can be looking down towards the mpoc to the wick fill okay to filling the wick here obviously over on bybit down towards the npc at 22k but the biggest target for me here now is the range low because of that now triple bottom it was lovely and i wanted it as a double bottom but now we got the triple bottom it's just like yeah give me any rise <laughs> to wherever you want to rise to and i'll short it down to take out those lows so yeah my i must admit uh, as i would always say you know I, I have confidence in my trades um you know i'm not an emotional trader though right i'm at the end of the day i'm here I'm planning, I'm very methodical, I'm I'm following a strategy, I'm making plans, I'm trading my plans. You know, at the end of the day, we see big moves up, big moves down. Yeah, there could be a lot of excitement, flashing lights. No, it's just, you know, I will keep always calm and collected, coming in the group, giving, you know, very well-presented analysis and thought processes. You know, I mentioned I'd tell, talk about the ES and the stock market. Uh, sorry, and, and the Forex market, and that is really with DXY. You know, from the very beginning, um, you know, remaining bullish on DXY, we're still expecting this rise. Uh, this was yesterday saying, you know, let's go towards the monthly. Let's not look to SFB this high, but continue the rise to the monthly. Well, if you see today, you did continue the rise 24 hours later to the monthly. Look at the stock market here. We had this lovely pattern on the stock market. We're obviously looking for the drop. This was recognized on Sunday during the Champions live stream. Uh, so let's, you know, continue that plan. And then if I will come over and show you how that's playing out. OK, you can see here very nicely. Look at the drop that we've had so far. So. You know, it's it's not just look at Bitcoin, it's not just look at altcoins, but it's let's look at our inversely correlated market with the DXY. Let's look at our correlated market with the stock market. You know, let's use this information to make very informed decisions. Okay. And when these other assets come together, when the technical analysis alone on Bitcoin comes together, when you have Igor Confluence, I mean, this guy calling one of the best trade setups I've seen ahead of time, just the, the thought process to form the higher low there. That was that was pretty spectacular, and yeah, then to take, I just yeah, I, I have no words. Like, that was a very good call, but um, yeah, what can I say? Uh, I'm just gonna say this. Yeah, for me, the plan remains bearish. It is short any rise until we come down and at least take now that triple bottom. You know, some people would view this, and this is the nature of the game, right? Some people are gonna think there's the low. There's a higher low. This is another higher low. So if you just remove everything, there are there will be people that are thinking to themselves, okay, look at this. We have now formed this low. We've now formed that higher low. And now we've formed another higher low. So they're going to think this is accumulation. This is a bullish structure. And guess what? You're going to have people longing there. And that's not just me saying, yeah, they're going to have people longing there. Look at the order flow. This, this is the data that cannot be faked. Look at that as you came down to the low. OK, you actually see there off the back of this, well, currently 2.8 million longs opening. If we come down on a five minute chart, I was reviewing the order flow as it happens. As you put in that higher low, look at this, you know, 500,000, 118,000, 800,000 here, 3.2 million positive delta open interest increases. So it's not just me saying people are trading the longs here. You know, I'm showing you the evidence that is real in front of your eyes, you know. So, you know, that, that that what makes a technical analysis, right? It's it's reading the data, making informed decisions, and then extracting that um, you know, a way of making a bias, making a trade setup, and you know, then remaining patient once you've took the trades. Um, because I, we will always say this, right? There's a big difference between an analyst and a trader. We want to, of course, get you and everybody to the realm of trader. So you're able to analyze the charts and execute, take your trades, make your profits. Um, you know, that's what we teach. And, you know, whether you're at you're the level of trading right now or whether you are still on the journey of learning, of course, we have everything for you over on the website. Whether it's you want to, you know, study the theory, then you've got the course. Whether you want to follow along with our live trading streams, well, then you can, you know, watch those live trading streams where you're seeing in the time the thought process, the reasons for entry, the, the reason why we place a stop loss there, the target here. So you get that live trading experience. OK, so we've got everything really um, to get you up to speed from the beginners to the experts, to the people that just want a community to, you know, discuss ideas and follow along with the best in the market. So, yeah, that is 
the last 24 hours of price action all called in advance by Igor. Now we're going to follow his plan and, you know, look for lower prices below this range low. I've explained my reasons why. That is because I'm looking for that liquidity grab. A lot of longs opening once more. I'm not expecting this to be a higher low. There are a lot of people that are expecting it with a higher low, as I can see in the order flow of those longs opening up. So for me, that is a wrap here. I am short. I am bearish. I'm looking for those lows. If we come down here and we get some sort of nice reaction if we get a SFP of our range low. And if we get a bullish reaction, I'm not a perma bear. I'm not this guy that's only going to short. You know, that is a long opportunity if I get the reaction. What I do is I place an alert. I'll come there once the alert's gone off and trade the reaction. If there's no reaction, there's no trade. But if there is a reaction and a very nice order flow, you can tell I would take a long trade. I'm just in this market to make profits. I don't really mind if it goes up or down. I'm able to trade either way. And as should you be. Okay, so you watching this, I want you to be in this mindset, this frame of mind as a champion trader. I can trade this market up. I can trade this market down. I just want volatility, nice setups and moves to take advantage of. Again, if you're not at that level to take advantage of it, well, head over to chartchampions.com, get yourself up on that level, follow along with the best and, you know, crush the charts as a champion. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you ever so much. I'll catch you over on the website for the live stream. I have a live stream tomorrow morning. So in 12 hours time, you'll see me live on the charts for our daily morning live stream update. Exactly like this one today from Eagle. I'm going to be going live and talking you through the day trades and a look for the heads for the next 24 hours. Every day we got live streams. Tomorrow as well, we got the altcoin live stream. So you got the daily morning crypto update you got the stock market update you got the altcoin update you got three live streams tomorrow what more could you need and want right now everything covered over on the platform chartchampions.com thank you ever so much everybody cheers and that's me signing out thank you and goodbye